ለመማር ወደ ትምርት ተቋም መሄድ ግድ አይደለም ናሽናል አቪሽን ኮሌጅ ራሳችሁን ከኮሮና ቫይረስ ወረርሽኝ የተጠበቃችሁ በቤታችሁ ወይም በተመቻችሁ ቦታ በኢንተርኔት አማካኝነት በኦንላይን ትምርታችሁ መከታተል ትችላላችሁ ካናዳ ከሚገኘው ኢንተርናሽናል ኤር ትራንስፖርት አሶሲዬሽን አያታና ከእንግሊዙ ኢንስቲትዩት ኦፍ ኮመርሻል ማኔጅመንት አይሲኤም ጋር በመተባበር የሚሰጡ ትምርቶችን ተከታተላችሁ በስድስት ወር ጊዜ በአለም አቀፍ ደረጃ ተቀባይነት ያለውን የስልጣና ማስረጃ ባለቤት መሆን ይቻላል ልምድ ባላችሁ መምራን እየተማራችሁ ጥያቄና መልስ የክፍል ስራዎች ፈተና መፈተን ክፍል ውስጥ እንዳላችሁት አይነት በኦንላይን ባላችሁበት ቦታ ከናሽናል አቪሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እህት ኩባንያ እንጨላለን ሶ ዊ ዌር ሉኪንግ ዘ ریلیሽንሺፕ ቢትዊን ቱ ሴትስ ዘ ፈርስት ዋን ኢዝ ሰብሴት and we try to define uh, subset so b subset of a can be defined as uh, symbolically b subset of a already ignore it and when we go through uh, the deep discussion of subset especially uh, b subset of a each element of the first set b should be included is the second set a b not subset of a or the subset of b subset of a will pay if at least one element of set b is not an element of set a that means if the subset fails or the subset will fail if at least one element of the first set is not an element of the second set this time subset will fail so uh, i already gave you example and i can add uh, one more example on the slide slide number 62 uh, if set a by the way before i go to the slide uh, number 62 i already defined the subset using uh, logical symbols as you can see here logical symbol a subset of b is equivalently means that the set of all x the set of all x such that x is an element of a implies x is an element of a. what does that mean it means if x is an element of a then that x should be an element of the second set b this is for a subset of b what about if b subset of a is if we we are interested to express b subset of a logical it will be look it will be the set of all x if x is an element of set b then that x is an element of set a an element of set a if a is subset of b logically it can be expressed as the set of all x if x is an element of a if x is an element of the first set a then that x should be an element of second set b uh, the same so for the second one b subset of a means if the set of all x such as if x is an element of set b then that x should be an element of the second set a this is how subset is going to be expressed using logical connect logical connectors like implication so the z might give it a back but never in the know a subset of b or b subset of a set not to that's why i already expressed the set of all x i already said the set of all x such that x is an element of the first set implies x is an element of the second set so here you on better believe believe to get balance test to one of the time uh define the matter of what define define m subset of n logical you may be asked like this define is the first set whatever it is it may be m or a or b or c whatever it is subset of the other set logical if you are asking like this don't forget this way of uh, definition the set of all x such that x is an element of the first set 
then x is an element of the second set. Now let us start to see examples concerning uh, subsets. The first one is example number one. Example number one, let uh, set A is A comma B, let set A consists of elements A and B, and set B consists of elements A, B, and C, and set C consists of elements A, B, and D. Now let us discuss which set is going to be a subset of the yes. other. We say, for example, number one, uh, clearly, clearly, one set A is subset of set B. The reason is very clear. Why? Obviously, small a and small b are included in a and included in b, in b, in set b. But but b is not subset of a. The reason is again very clear. Why element c is found in b but not in a, but not in a. Number two set A is subset of set C. Clearly, the elements of set A, they are A and B, and they are already included in set C. A and B are already included in set C. But, yet again, set C is not subset of set A. Because element D is found in set C, but not found in set A. That's why we can say set C is not a subset of set A. Number three, B is not a subset of C, and C is not a subset of set B. Why B is it not a subset of C? Because element C is not found in set C. Element C, small c, is found in set B, but not in set C. The same is true for the, the second one. The element small d is found in the first set C, but not found in the second set B. So this is uh, example number one. Now, example number two. Let us see it here, example number two. If or suppose capital set S consists of elements multiple of six, the set of all X such that X is a multiple of six. A multiple of six. As you can see, this set capital S is described using set builder method as we discussed last week. So the set of all x such that x is a multiple of six. You know the multiple of six, the multiple of six, a positive multiple of six, for example. If uh, we are interested in the positive multiple of six. They are 6, 12, 18, and 24, and it was a difference of 6 with a difference of 6. If we are interested to the negative or including 0 to the left hand side, it will go like 0, negative 6, negative 12, and so on. But let us interested. Um, only on the positive multiples of six. This is set S. What about set T? The second set T, the set of all X such that X is even integer, okay? X is even integer. Even integer. You know, if we are interested only on positive even integer, so they are 0, 2, 4, 5, 
four, six, eight, and so on. Again, if we are, if we are interested only on the positive even integer, we can omit two, okay? We can omit or we can reject two. Now we can compare, and I mean, we can relate the two sets using subsets. Which one is the subset of the other? S to T or T to S? S to S is a, sub, a subset of T or T is a subset of S? Clearly, S is a subset of T. Why? Because all multiples of six are included in the set of uh, T, which is even. That means every number, if the number is a multiple of six, which is even, which is even. So six is found here, then 12, 12 will be found here after 10, after 10, 12 will be there. So 18 is all, also be here, 24 is also here. So every multiple of six is even, even. So since, since every multiple of, since every multiple of six is an even integer, an even integer, then, then S is clearly a subset of T. S is clearly a subset of T. Uh, S is clearly a subset of T because every multiple of six is an even integer. What about the vice versa? Can we say T a subset of S? No. Why? Because two is not a multiple of six. Four is not a multiple of six. Eight is not a multiple of six. So, but we can say, but T is not a subset of uh, S. Of course, of course, number two, number four, number eight, number 10 are included in T, but not included in S. That's why T is not a subset of S. T is not a subset of S. So this is the second example. The second example. Now let us go to the third example. Example number three. Let if set A consists elements uh, A and B under set. Okay? B under set. Uh, then, then, Look, look at this one. This set, this set is a subset of set A. You know, set A means a set consists of two elements. They are A without breath and B with breath. So a set containing A is a subset of a set containing A and B with breaks. So we can say this set is a subset of uh, set A. Not only this, but uh, a set containing B with breaks is a subset of set A. A subset of set A. And and A subset of A. Here again, 
all their correct. The first one, this set, the set has one element, which is A. It is again found in set A. Therefore, if the element of this set is included in the second set, therefore we can say the first set is a subset of the second set. The second one, as you know, in which set is a subset of any set, including itself, including itself. So, uh, in which set is a subset of set A. It doesn't matter if A is in which set. That means in which set can be a subset of itself. But now, uh, the second set is not in which set, but rather the first set given uh, by elements A and B with brace. Therefore, in which set is a subset of uh, that A. And as you can see here, a set containing B with brace. Look, this element, I mean, this set has only one element. Its element is the one inside the circuit. So uh, this set is a subset of set A. Why? Because this element inside the circuit is an element for the second set. Therefore, this set is a subset of this one. And finally, this set that includes element A and B with brace is a subset of A. That means this set means already this one. Since they are equal, and as I told you earlier, two, if two sets are equal sets, one can be a subset for the other. Compatibly, okay? Compatibly. But, but, this set is not a subset of set A. I think the reason is very clear. The reason is very clear. Why? Because the, the first set that consists B without brace, B without brace, is not a subset of the second set that consists B with brace, okay? B with brace. Therefore, uh, this set is not a subset of this set A. Why? Because B is an element for the first set, but not an element for second set. But not an element for second set. So uh, if this is uh, of the kind like this, it will be like the previous example given under the third kind. So but now there is no double brace. So it's single brace that indicates B with, without brace is an element for the first set. And set A consists of uh, an element B with brace, okay? An element B with brace. That's why we can say this is not a subset of set A. So these are crucial examples. Um, not only this one, but this one is not a subset of set A. This one is not a subset of set A. The reason is very clear. Of course, of course, A is an element for the first set, again an element for the second set. But this B is an element of this set, but not an element for the second set. Why? Because this one is without brace, but this one's original set A uh, element is with brace, with brace. So these are very crucial examples. Okay, now we can go to uh, equal sets. So the second kind of set that can be expressed under the relationship between two sets is equal sets. So sets A and B are said to be equal if they contain exactly the same number of elements and the same kind of elements, okay? So if the number of elements are, the number of elements of the two sets are equal, and the kind of elements that are found in both sets A and B are also the same, then we can say the two sets A and B are uh, equal sets, equal sets. Be careful, if the two sets A and B have 
equal number of elements, but the kinds of elements that are found in A and B are different, then we cannot say uh, equal sets. Then we cannot say the two sets are equal sets. So in order to talk about the two sets uh, that are equal, then uh, the two sets must should have the same number of elements and the same kind of elements, the same kinds of elements. Uh, the, the kind of sets which have equal number of elements, but not the same kind of elements, then they are not equal sets, but they are equivalent sets, okay? Equivalent sets. So in this case, we write A equal B because they are equal sets. So uh, you can see from the slide how A equal B can be expressed logically. Logical. The set of all x, the set of all x, A equal B means the set of all x, or for every x, if x is an element of B, then x is an element of A. And, and if x is an element of A, then x is an element of B. That is what by implication from originally B, originally B. Uh, again, let me take you to uh, the whiteboard. If two sets which are equal can be described logically or logical operator, uh, as I told you, verbally or orally, uh, can be expressed here on the whiteboard. A equals B, A equals B. Equivalently means that, equivalently means that the set of all x universal quantifier such that x is an element of A by implies x is an element of B, an element of B. Or, or this can also be expressed as the set of all x such that x is an element of A implies x is an element of B, okay? And, and x is an element of B implies x is an element of A. So the same, okay? Whether you express A equal B in this form or in this form, positive. Because by implication means two way arrow. Two way arrow means from A to B and from B to A. That is what I did here. From A to B, implication, and it is end, then from B to A. So backward as well as forward. So both way is already uh, possible and they should be connected uh, by conjunction. So this is how uh, we are going to express equality of two sets. Equality of two sets. Okay. Let us go to the slide. So uh, you can see from the example, as you can see there, uh, let from example A, a set containing one, two, three, a set containing two, one, three, and a set containing one, three, two, are all equal sets. The reason is very clear. The three sets consist of equal number of elements. All three sets have three elements. And the three elements have the same kind of elements. One is found in three sets, two is yet again found in the three sets, the same through for members. So we can say the three sets given there are equal. What about example B? The set of all X such that X is a counting number, okay? a counting number. That means a counting number means, as you know, x is uh, a natural number. Okay? Natural number begins with one, then two, three, with a difference of one, it continues. What about the second set? X is a positive integer. A positive integer means uh, alternatively or synonymously the set of natural numbers. So the set containing counting number and the set containing positive integer are 
uh, equal sets because they consist of the same number of elements as well as the same kind of elements. Of course, of course, counting numbers as well as positive integers uh, have um, indefinite number of elements. That means we cannot we cannot uh, have the fixed number of elements for the two sets. But we are sure enough that they have the same kind of elements as well as the same number of elements. The same number of elements. So this is what uh, equal sets mean. Okay, let's go to the third one. Proper subsets. Proper subsets. The third the third uh, kind of or the third category of how we are going to relate two sets. You can see the definition given there. Set A is said to be a proper subset of set B if every element of A, if every element of A is also uh, an element of the second set B. But as you can see here, set B has at least one element that is not in set A. As you can see, set B is found in the second and set A is in the first. So A is a proper subset of B. First, the elements of set A should be found in the element set B. But this is not enough definition unless we add the fact that the second set B should have at least one element, should have at least one element in which that element is not found in set A. If the two sets are equal sets, so we cannot say A is a proper subset of set B or B is a proper subset of set A. That is a definition of subset as we discussed earlier. So, uh, this is how we symbolize proper subset, which is quite different from the subset. Subset has a, um, a hyphen-like symbol uh, at the bottom of uh, the symbol, which looks like capital C, capital C, but proper subset doesn't have. So we also say B, set B is a proper subset of set A, and we write, uh, as you can see, uh, set B is a proper subset of set A. Uh, this is not uh, the way. So let me write B, set B is a proper subset of set A, uh, which is like this, which is like this. So uh, B is a proper subset of set A. The previous one is already a proper subset of B because uh, uh, let me let me take you to the slide. Here it is. So A is a proper subset of B. Is equivalently means that equivalently means that both are the same. Okay, both are the same. This is A proper subset of B. Yet again, this one is A proper subset of. B. If we want to write B is a proper subset of A, so it is equivalently means that, uh, so or it is equivalent to, equivalent to, uh, it is A, so B is a proper subset of A. B is proper subset of A. Uh, a proper subset of B, as we did earlier, can be expressed logically as uh, you can see that. So for all x, for all x, if x is an element of A, then x is an element of B. So this is the definition of a subset of A. But what we should have to add here is for proper subset is that, of course, x is an element of A, then x is an element of B, and a and B are not equal. That means that means there must be there must be an element x for B 
which is not an element of A, which is not an element for A. This is how we are going to define uh, proper A, proper subset of B. So you can see from the example set A consists of elements minus three, minus two, and minus one. Set B consists of elements uh, minus three, minus two, minus one, and zero. So set B consists of zero, which is not an element of the first set A. Therefore, we can say A is a proper subset of B. A is a proper subset. Of, of course, of course, we can say uh, A is a subset of set B. In addition to subset, we can also say that uh, A is a proper subset of B. Of course, you can add not only one element, but more than one element. We say that at least, at least one element of the second set should not be included in the first set. We say that at least, that means you can add some other element in set B, which is not found in the first set A. In the first set A. You can also see example number two. Example number two. Set D consists of three elements. They are minus one, zero, and one. And set B consists of the same element with that of set D. Minus one, zero, and one. This time, the two sets, the two sets alternatively can be subset. That means D subset of B or B subset of D. But the two sets cannot be a proper subset for the other. One of them cannot be a proper subset for the other. Because in order to one, in order to be a proper subset for the other, uh, the second set should have to have an element, an element in which the first set doesn't have. The first set doesn't have. So example two uh, justifies how a proper subset uh, fail, a proper subset uh, fail. So you can add examples, examples, in ad additional examples from your, uh, what we call it, uh, textbook or uh, the material for the course, the material for the course. So this much is enough. <clears throat> now we can go to the fourth relationship between two sets, which is power set, okay? The very crucial one, power set. Let A be a set. Let A be a set. The power set of this set A, denoted by capital P of uh, the set A, is the set, is the set, whose elements are all subsets of the given set A. All subsets of the given set A. So this is, uh, this is, can be clar clarified using uh, logical form, as you can see there. Power set of A, power set of A is defined as the set containing set B, such that B is a subset of set A. So let me explain this using whiteboard, okay? Power set is very crucial and should have to understand it uh, as well. Let A is a set, or let A be a set. Let A be a set. So power set of this set A, power set of this set A is a set containing, a set containing B, a set containing B. This set B is a subset of the given set A, the given set A. To make it very clear, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Example number one. Let the set A consist of element, consist of element uh, one and two in a set, and two and three 
in another set, then close it. So how many number of elements set A have? Three. What are they? One without brace, two with brace, two and three with brace. With brace. So power set of this set, power set of this set is a set by itself. From the definition, we say that power set of a given set is a set. Which consists, which consists all subsets of the given set. All subsets of the given set. So, uh, um, what are subsets of a given set? What are subsets of a given set? If a set, if a set has any number of elements, any number of elements, so it will have to the power of n number of subsets. To the power of n number of subsets. Now, this set has three elements. So it will have, since n is three, so to the power of three, which is eight number of elements for the power of subsets. Let us list one by one. List one by one. The first one is input set. Input set is a subset of the given set. A. So this input set is set B, okay? Set B. This is the first set. The second set, a set containing one. A set containing one. This set is a subset of set A. Why? Because uh, this set consists of one and this set consists of one. So a set consists of one is a subset for a set consists of one and the other. And the other. This is a second B. Second B. The third one is a set containing one and two is brace. Two is brace. This is B, this is B, this is B. But we haven't finished. This is a set which is a subset of this one. Why? Because all elements of this set are included in set A. In set A. The third set that can be an element for the power set is a set containing one and two, three with brace. Look, this set is yet again a subset of set A. Why? Because all elements of this set are included in A. This is the other B. The other B. We are listing the B, okay? So this B is an element for our set, but it is already a set. It is already a set. So the other is a set containing uh, two with brace and two, three with brace. Then close it. So this set consists of two elements. What are they? Two with brace and two and three with brace. So a set containing two elements, uh, which are two with brace and two and three with brace, is already a subset for set A. Because set A consists of these two elements. These two elements. But I haven't finished. I haven't finished. Okay, uh, the other one is a set containing uh, the element the, the element that consists of two and three with brace and they close. Look, this is set, this set containing this element, containing this element. Two three with brace, two three with brace is already in this set. So this set is a subset of set A. Finally, finally, a set containing elements of all set A. That means I can say set A as uh, B, as B, or I can list all the elements. One, two is brace, and uh, two and three with brace. Then close this brace. Close this brace. Here it is. 
and I have to close yet again this brace, okay? I already opened this because power set by itself is already a set. If it is a set, I already opened this set and I should have to close the brace at last. Now, but Kaltayatu, so how many number of elements power set of A have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one element is already missed. One, input set is as one. This one is two. One and two, there is already listed. So three number total. One with two and three, one with two and three. Yes, four. Two with two and three. Yes, two with two and three. And two, three by itself. Yes, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And set A by itself, you can list all the elements here. So one, two, two, and three, then they are summary number. So what is missing here? Because a set that consists of three elements should have to have two to the power of three, uh, which is eight number of elements. You can, you can uh, find the missed one. In pit set, one with a set, two with a set. So that is the missed one. So two, let me write it here, two. Big chunk, let slide the So this one is one, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, the tenth, the eleventh, the twelfth, the uh, Power set of A is a set plus the region. Younger Element let me give you three questions, okay? Example number two. Example number two. Example number two. Let set A consists. Uh, let A cons set A consists of the element one with a brace. One with a brace. Aun online la yanda kula tu and bande ta yeka tu anuhim. So let's be very bad damn. Power set na ure esat. Power set. The power set element nu begins lingera tu. The power set bara so power set set sala hona. The power set element nu nu na man na chokala tu. Letter set or original set, subset of new. Subset of new. 
ስለዚህ በጣም እንትጠረቀቁት ምንድነው ለፓወር ሴት ኤለመንት በመናረግበት ጊዜ የግድ የኦሪጅናል ሴቱ ኤለመንቶች በሴት ውስጥ ገብተው ነው እንደ ለፓወር ሴቱ እንደ ኤለመንት ነው ማለት ስለዚህ ቱ ፎርስ ነው እዚህ ጋር የምጠየቃችሁ a set a has only one element kila true false ነው የምትጠይቃችሁ b ያው say true or false ነው ያለው say true or false b input set is a subset of input set is an element of p of a p of a ማለት ያው power set of a ነው okay okay the third one is c c uh D E F እንግዲህ ሰባ አንድ አይ ሚን ስድስት ኤግዛምፕሎችን ጀነሬት አድርጋለሁ አ ይሄ ሴት ስንት ታባላት አሉት ቢባል እኔ አላወራም የሚታይ ይመስለኛል ምክንያቱም ይሄኛው ተተውታላት ይሄ የሴቱ መክፈቻና መዝጊያ ከዚህ ውጪ ምን ያህል አባራት አሉት የሚለው ለማወቅ ግልጽ ነው ስለዚህ አሁን ዲ ላይ ምን ነው የሚለው ዋን ዊዝን ኤ ብሬስ ኢዝ ኤ ሰብሴት ኦፍ ኤ ነው የሚለው this one is false 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 this one is again false ለምን በጣም ወሳኝ ጥያቄ ነው ቀድምም ጠጋጃ አልኩኝ ሳልናገሩ ያለፍኩት ነው ሎ this says a has an opening brace and a closing brace with an opening and the closing brace how many elements are already there only one element the element of set a is one with an brace one with an brace so let's say a has only one element what is that element element one no kibbal which is blatu ziga which is one with an address ልብ በበሉ አሁን እዚህ ጋር አንድ ነገር አሁን ይሄ ማለት ከዚህ ጋር በተጨማሽ አንድ አይደለም ሴት ኤ ማለት ከዚህ ሴት ጋር ተመሳሳይ ለምን ይሄ ሴት እንደ አባል ያያዘ ዋን ነው ሴት ኤ ግን እንደ አባል ያያዘ ዋን ሳይሆን ዋን በብሬስ ውስጥ ነው ስለዚህ በጣም ይያያም ስለዚህ ይሄ ማለት እንደ ማለት በጣም የተለያየ ነው ስለዚህ አሁን set a አንድ ኤለመንት አለው so b ለማንደርሶ ነበር ዳግመው ዳግመው አቤት ሚስተር ኮድ ገለኛ b true ነው false b true ነው ሚስተር ታያ ልጅ b አ true ነው input set is an element of power set a right true ነው ለምን a input set is an element for power set of everything አ ለፓወር ፓወር ሴት ሲጀምር ሁሌ በዚህ ጋር አንተም እንደበለስተው ያው ከኢንፒት ሴት ወይተነሳው በቀድሙ ኤግዛምፕል ላይ ነው ስለዚህ ኢንፒት ሴት ለፓወር ሴት ለተማረኩ ጊዜ ኤለመንት ስለዚህ ኤለመንት ነው ሶ ዳግማዊስ ኮሬክት አሁን this is an element for power set of a ለምን እንደሆነ ንሱ አዳርጭ ሌሎቻቸው ማዳምጡ ኦፍ ኮርስ set a has one element 
ያ ያዘው ኤለመንት በሴት ውስጥ ሲገባ ለራሱ ሰብሴት ይሆን ለራሱ ሰብሴት ይሆን ለዚህ ነው ክድል በዴፊኒሽን ኤን ተመልከት በጣት የማሳያችሁ ተመልከት ፓወር ሴት ኦፍ ሴት ኤ ኢዝ ኤ ሴት ኮንቴይኒንግ ሴት ቢ ሰች ዛት ዛት ሴት ቢ ኢዝ ኤ ሰብሴት ኦፍ ኤ ነው ስለዚህ አሁን ይሄ ለንጹ የደረሳት ይሄ በግራ በኩል ያለው ማለት ነው ለሴት ኤ ለዚህ ሴት ኤ ሰብሴት ነው ለሴት ኤ ሰብሴቱ የሆነ ለፓወር ሴት ምን ነው ኤለመንት ስለዚህ ኤለመንት አለ ትክክል ስለዚህ ንጹ አስተካኪ ትሩ አሁን ኤፍ ምስጋ ነው ኦንላይን ላይ ካለ ቀድም ነው አላ አላ ወይኔ ይቀርታ ለካ ምስጋና የሁለቱ የወንድም የሴት እዚህ ጋር የብሩክ ብቻ ነው ፎቶ ቢታየ ሌሎቻቸው አንድ አንድ የሴትን አንቀጽ ለወንድ የወንድን በሴት ብታራ እንዳተከይደ ስለዚህ ንጹ መልሺ እ ትሩ ነው እ ትሩ ነው ኤፍ ትሩ ስለዚህ አሁንም ንጹ ስለታወጭ ፎልስ ሞመንት ለምን ፎልስ እንደሆነ አብራራ let me take you to the previous example before i go through the discussion of the discussion by the way f false begins to fail ያለው ያው ዛጋ ማይታያት ካላችሁ false no f let it now false no no power set of a የያዙ ካባላት ለ a ሰብሴት የሆኑ ናቸው ብዬ ገልጫለሁ ስለዚህ አሁን power set of a ራሱ ሴት ከሆነ ራሱ ሴት ከሆነ ለሱ ሰብሴት የሚሆኑትን ለማወቅ እንዴ ገና ሌላ ሴት መጨመራለት ስለዚህ ይሄ ቅድም ኢላይ ከንጹህ ጋር ተነጋግረና ኤለመንቱ ነው ትሩ ነው ብያ ስለዚህ ለ power sort set of a እዚህ ጋር ያለው ኤለመንቱ ከሆነ ሰብሴት ለማድረግ ግን ለ a አይደለም የውልሽ ምስጋ ለ a አይደለም ሰብሴት ነው ኡነት ለበናገር ላንቺ የደረሰሽ f subset of a ቢሆን ኖሮ ትክክል ነበር ትሩ ነበር ነው ግን እዚህ ጋር a ሳይሆን ያለው power set of a ለ power set of a subset የሚሆኑት ደግሞ ቅድም ኤለመንት ናቸው ያለው ያናቸው እነሱ ላይ ሌላ ሴት ሲደረር ነው ማለት ሌላ ሴት ሲደረር ስለዚህ g ላይ አስተካክል ይገልጻል አሁን g እንደዚህ አይነት ይገልጻል ማለት ይሄ እንግዲህ አሁንም ጽፈው ለ power set of a ኤለመንት የነበረ ነው e ላይ የተጻፈው ነው ስለዚህ እዚህ ላይ ሌላ ሴት ቢደረር it will be subset of the power set of እሺ ሁላችሁም ያዛችሁት መስለኛ ሶስት ሴቶች ናቸው አንድ ላይ ያሉ። ሶ ሰብሴት ኦፍ ፓወር ሴት ኦፍ ኤ ቢ ላይ። አ ፕሊስ አ ዚስ ዋን ኢዝ ቬሪ ክሩሻል ኤግዛምፕል ነምበር 2 ኢዝ ቬሪ ክሩሻል። ለምን እንደው እንደዚህ አልኩት በዚህ ፎርስ በዚህ ፎርስ አምናም ፎርስን ይወሰዱ ተማሪዎች ፈተና ላይ እነዚህ ያቸው ትሩ ፎርሶች በጣም ስትዋት ለምን እነዚህ ድሮ ከኤለመንታሪ ጀምራቸው የተማራቸው ናቸው ቀለል ያለ ይመስላል ግን ፓወር ሴት ኤ ጋር ሲመጣ ግን ፓወር ሴት ኦፍ ኤ ጊቭን ሴት ጋር ሲመጣ ግን ሴቶቹ እና ኤለመንቶቹ ስለሚደበላለቁባት ስለዚህ አሁን ይሄንን ረጋ ብዬ አባላቶቹ ምን ያህል ናቸው እነሱስ እንደማናቸው ቢለውን ላስረዳ ስኪ አሁን ይታያችሁ ይመስለኛል yes ይታያል እዚህ ጋር አንጣው ኤግዛምፕል ነበር 2 ማለት ሶሉሽን ቢጀ እዚህ ጋር አንጣው ከዛ ሌላ ኤግዛምፕል እንደተጨመረ የሚያስጠይቃችሁ ነገር ይላል አይ ካናት ኖት ኦን ዲ ዋን ኤግዛምፕል ሰፈራ ላይ ኤግዛምፕል ኦኬ ሶ ሂር ኢዝ ዘ ሶሉሽን ፎር ዘ ፕሪቪየስ question example number okay a consists only one element okay a has only one element which is one with a phrase so a has one element one element which is one with a phrase so let's see a has one element which is one malatachu 
እንደዛም ታይሆን የነበረው a እንዲሆን ነበር አያት እንደዚህ ቢሆን ኖሮ ኦፍ ኮርስ a has one element but the element is one ነገር ግን በዚህኛው ጊዜ a has one element but the element is not one but one with a place one with a place አንደኛው እንደው ሁለተኛው አንድ ኤለመንት ካለው ይሄ ሴት ምን ያህል power setዎች ማን ሰብሴቶች አሉት ካለ power set ሳይሆን ሰብሴቶች አሉት ካለ to the power of one since a has one element a has to the power of one which is two number of subsets በሚገባችሁ መንገድ ነው በዚህ መንገድ ተሰፋው ተመልከቱ a has one element if a has one element it will have to the power of one number of subsets these subsets will be elements of the power set ሰምታችሁ ነው these subsets will be elements of the power set so our power set will be gamma power set of a እንደ ማን ናቸው ብዛታቸው ሁለት ሰብሴቶች አሉ ከተባለ እነሱ ደግሞ ለ power set of a አባለ ከሆኑ እንደ ማን ናቸው ከተባለ አንደኛው sorry they are big ለግለሰብ ያለ ሰብሴት ያልባቸው ሁለት ናቸው they are they are input set and itself input set and itself itself ያልኩ set ራሱ ስለዚህ እነዚህ ሁለቱ ሰብሴቶች ናቸው ለማ ለ a input set is a subset of any set ስለሆነ the set a subset ነው okay አባሉ አይደለም subset ነው ሁለተኛው ደግሞ one within double brace ማለት ራሱ set a ስለዚህ ማንኛውም set ለራሱ subset ስለሚሆን ስለዚህ ሁለቱ የset a subsetዎቹ እነዚህ ነው ስለዚህ አሁን ወደ ሶስተኛው ስመጣ power set of a power set of a እነዚህ ባባልነት ያዘ ነው ተመረከ እነዚህ ባባልነት ያዘ ስለዚህ አሁን ሁላችሁ ሁላችሁ ታዱም የተጠየቀችው ጋግምን ብሩክም ፋይሮም ንጹህ ምስጋና ሁላችሁ የተጠየቀችሁት አሁን በሙሉ ማየት ይችላል ማለት አንደኛ a a has one element ይል ነበር a has one element ይመስለኛል የብሩክ ጥያቄ ነው አው የብሩክ a has one element yes it is a under under value ያለው እሺ b ጋር ነው input set is an element for power set of a input set the power set of a አባል ነው ይላል እውነት ነው ቀድምም ጥሩ ብለ c ደግሞ የታዱ ጥያቄ ነው one with single brace is an element for power set of a ይላል ያው one with single brace an element for power set ይላል ውሸት እኛም ቀድም force ያለው ለዚህ one with double brace ከዛ d ጋር ስንል የfile ጥያቄ ነበር ነው d one with single brace is a subset of a እሱ የ a ሰብሴቶች ያላቸው ነዚህ ነው this and this are subsets of a subsets of a ያላቸው ነው ስለዚህ one with single brace አይደለም ለ a ሰብሴት double brace በርግጥ እንዲህ ቢሆን ኖሮ ሁለት ለመናገር d true ሆነ ነበር እሺ d true ሆነ ነበር ጥያቄው ይሄ ቢሆን ነው ጥያቄው ይሄ ቢሆን ነው d true ነበር አሁን ግን ጥያቄው a with double brace ለነበረ so d false የሆነው በዚህ ነው የንሱ መልስ ጋር ሊት የንሱ መልስ ጋር ስንዴት Uh, one with double brace is an element of power set a so one with double brace is an element for power set a la lon dem talut onet element f gamin f gamin the power set of a subset aun ye ye power set no inde manignyaw set qutarut eski yezin subsetoch naw ከዚህ a አንድ አባል ስላልነው to the power of one ሰብሴቶች አሉ። አሁን ይሄ ራሱ የቻለ አንድ ሴት ስንት አባላት አሉት? ሁለት አባላት አሉ። ሁለት አባላት አሉ። አሁን የዚህ ሴት ሰብሴቶቹ ይሆኑት እንደማናቸው ብትባሉ እስኪ ለማውጣት ሞክሩ። ز 
this is my question. What are the subsidies? Oh. Okay, and the money, okay. The majority of the money is not for that. መጀመሪያ አንድ ባንድ ብሬስ ብቻ ያለ ከዛ በሁለቱም ያለው ደግሞ ለብቻ ለብቻ ስለዚህ አሁን ንጽፈውን ክሊር በሆነ አማርኛ ነገር አንድ ቁጥር ዴብል ብሬስ ነው ንጽፈው ሲንግል ነው ዴብል ነው ኳድሪፕል ዴብል ብሬስ አርጉ ዴብል ብሬስ አ ዴብል ብሬስ እንደዚህ ማለት ነው አ ይታያል ቆይ 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 ይቀርታ አሁን ይታያል አ አ ይሄ ነው ለዚህ ሰብሴቱ ምትረኛ አ ስታ ዳርማ ካላሻሻል ይሄ ለዚህኛው ኤለመንቱ ነው እንጂ ሰብሴቱ አይደለም አስተካካ ባላ አንድ ብሬስ አርጓል አው ትክክለ አንድ ባላ አንድ ጨምርበት ብሎኛል እናንተ ስለማትሰሙ ነው ትክክለ እሺ ሌላ ስም ሊል ጨምር አራት ሌላው ደግሞ አራተኛው ሙሉ ጥያቄው ይሄ ሙሉ ትክክለ ያ ማለት ኢምፒቲ ሴትና ዴብል አንድ ቁጥር ያዘ ራስ ስለዚህ እነዚህ አራቱ ለፓወር ሴት ኦፍ ኤ ብሎቹ ናቸው ሰብሴቶች ሁላችሁም ይሄን ጻፍ አመሰግናለሁ ዳግም እነዚህ አራቱ ሰብሴቶች ነው ለዚህ ለፓወር ሴት ኦፍ ኤ እነዚህ አራቱ ሰብሴቶች ነው ቱ ዘ ፓወር ኦፍ ቱ ማለት ይሄንን ማን ይገልጽልኛል አባላቶቹ ስለማን ለሁላችሁም ይታያቸዋል ምናልባት አ ያውላት በዚህ በማርከሩ ላሳጋት ይሄ ማለት ምን ማለት ነው ከገባችሁስ አባላቶቹ ለማን ናቸው this means power set of power set of a what does that mean the power set of a set consists of these four elements the power set of the power set of the power set of this i mean the power set of power set of a malat ihe engidi inde and set kotutal atu ihe lek p of a sindir inde nebere aw demo p of this set this set malat ihe malat selezi power set of this set malat እንዲህ አባል የሆኑለት እንዲህ አራቱ አባል የሆኑለት ሴት ማለት ስለዚህ አሁን ምናልባት ካልታያችሁ ተጋጽ ስለላችኋለሁ እዚህ ጋር ጻፍላችሁ it is a set because it is power set ሆነ consists all these elements in which say ሳበኩል ያለው ለእናንተ ይታያናቀም እንግዲህ አንድ ሁለት ሶስት አራት አንድ ሁለት ሶስት አራቱን ያዘማ ከዛ ይሄ ሴት መጨረሻ ላይ ይነዘበዋል ይሄ ማለት እነኑም እንደ አይነት ያቄ ነው በዚህ ኮርስ ላይ ምትጠየቁ ስለዚህ ለዚህ ነው ኮምብ እንደዚህ አይነት ያቄ ምትጠይቃችሁ አንደኛ ጀስት ዩኒቨርሲቲ ተማሪዎች ስለሆነችሁ አይምሮአችሁ ከኤለመንታሪም ከአይስኩልም ማሳደግ አለብን which one is the element of the power set and what are the power the power set of a given ስለዚህ ቤት ገብታችሁ ይሄን እንትያቄ ስለሆነ አሁን በረገኳችሁ መሰረት exercise will be done at your home let set b 
consists of huh? set B consists of uh, input set and one. Uh, input set within a brace and one. So the questions will be given as follows. Number one, uh, find Find elements of B, elements of power set of B, and power set of B by itself. Number two, say true or false. Say true or false. A A C and D So these four questions are already questions which will be then at your home. Okay. So Zilite Yaki can not do the Lanfro power set of A. Yaki can not do Algeba to Nagar Manatu. Mansat Chilalat, discuss Maragin Chilan. Unless power set of A. Bezu Jarasanan Okay, uh, additional exercise from your text or the course document, the course material, page 29 up to 31. 29 up to 31. Exercise from page 29 up to 31 on your course material.
So uh, this is your exercise and uh, the next one is operations on set. Set operations and the uh, Venn diagrams. Okay, given two subsets A and B of a universal set U. Uh, actually, the, the set U is a universal set and it can be understood that uh, a set that includes each subset, each subset, I mean, a set includes each set under consideration. So, uh, given two sets A and B of a universal set U, new sets can be formed using A and B in many ways. So we are going to form new set, okay? Using A and B, we are going to form new set. So such as taking common elements or non-common uh, elements. So sometimes we may take common elements or non-common elements. So and putting everything together to form a new set using operations. So such process of forming new sets are called set operations. So in this section, three most important uh, operations are already uh, discussed, namely union, intersection, and complement. So uh, yet again, you are so much familiar with union, intersection, and complement. But when we come to uh, uh, three questions, you may be or you may not be as such. Uh, comfortable with the questions. Let's start from the first one. Uh, union of sets. So clearly the union of two sets A and B denoted by A union B is the set of all elements that are either in A or in B or in both. Okay? In both. So when we talk about union, you have to uh, understand that A union B by itself is a set. Okay? Like that of power set of a given set, a union B is a set. A intersection B is also a set. Okay? So A union B is a set that consists the set of all X such that an element X is an element for A or B. So an element is an element, a number is an element for A union B if it is an element for A or B. An element for B. What about if the element is found in both in A and in B? You should have to take. So this is the definition. Clearly, uh, then okay. Uh, the second one. Uh, let me take you to the first one. In case of A union B, in case of A union B, the logical connector here is uh, the disjunction. Okay, the disjunction. Why it is preferable? Because it, the element is no matter if it is an element for A or B. So there is the word O. So that is already expressed by this judge. When we come to the second kind of operation, it is intersection. Intersection of sets. So the intersection of two sets as you can, or as you know it, A and B denoted by A and B, and uh, is a set of all elements that are in A and in B. This is, we have no uh, option this time. An element either found in A or in B could be taken in case of union. But in case of intersection, an element for the intersection will be if that element is found in both A and B, in both A and B. That is, can be expressed logically as, uh, it is already expressed on the slide, on the slide, slide number 70. So A intersection B means the set of all X such that the element X is found in both A as well as in B. So in this case, not disjunction, but conjunction is preferable. Conjunction is preferable. So the element of the intersection uh, is an element which was found in both A and B. 
So the union operator in the theory of state is the counterpart of the logical operator N, the logical operator N. Ziga missed the other one. So the logical operator N dimlekut, inverted V man. I mean, sorry, inverted V. The N dimlekut sign, the O dimlekut man. So the intersection operator in the theory of set is the counterpart of the logical operator. Here, I'm going to give you a little bit of So uh, the conjunction uh, symbol, the conjunction symbol for intersection and the disjunction symbol for the union. This is the counterpart uh, expression. The third one, two sets A and B are said to be disjoint sets if A and B a and B, I mean A intersection B is invisible. So if there are, if two sets are disjoint, so the intersection of the two sets is already known. That means if two sets are said to be disjoint sets, if they have no common element uh, in common. So that is the third notation, as you know, as you know. Okay, when we go to the next one, which is a complement of a set, this is the other operation. You can say operation number, the previous one is already number two, now number three. So, number three. Number three. So there are two kinds of complement, relative complement and absolute complement, OK? Now let us uh, see the relative complement first. The difference between two sets, A and B, denoted by A without B, A without B, is a set of all elements in A and not in B, and not in B. This set is also called the relative complement of B with respect to A. You see how it's going to be read? A without B can be read as the relative complement of B, the relative complement of the second set B with respect to the first set A. That is what the difference between two sets A and B or A without B. A without B. A without B. Symbolically, symbolically or logically, it can be expressed as the difference between A and B is equal to the set of all X such that X is an element of A and X is not an element of B. This is how it can be expressed logically. A without B. A without B. Or the difference between A and B is the set of which consists of all x such that x is an element of the first one and not called the disjunction, but this conjunction, and that h should not be found in b. This is what a without b. Or this can also be readers, is readers, readers, the relative complement, a without b means the relative the relative complement of the relative complement of b with respect to a okay with respect to a. so a without b tableau the relative complement of a with respect to b a without b means the relative complement of b the relative complement of B with respect to A, with respect to A. So complement of B means I'm going to I'm going to list elements of A, elements of A that are not found in B, that are not found in B. Or I'm going to reject reject elements of B, elements of B with respect to A, with with respect to A. So likewise, likewise, B without A. Eski ihenin 
እየሰማችሁኝ ከሆነ ይሄን በዚህ በዚህ መልክ የሚገልጽልኝ ሰው ልክ ክፍል ውስጥ እንዳለ እኔ ማለት ይችላል ቀድሞ ድምጹን ያጠፋ ማን ነው ይሄ ሚውት ያረ ሚውቱን ያጠፋ ሰው ኦሬዲ በመለስ ይችላል ቢው ኤውዛርት እንደዚህ ዲፋይን አድርጋለሁ ቢው ኢዛውት ኤክስ ኤክስ ኢኤኩይ ለማና ኤክስ ኢዛኔ ለመንቶፍ ቢ ቢ ኤንድ ያው ኤንድ ስላለ ኤክስ ኖት አኔ ለመንቶፍ ኤክስ ኤ ኤሺ አሁን ደግሞ ኢት ካን ቢ ሊዳስ ኢት ካን ቢ ሊዳስ ዘሬላቲቭ ዘሬላቲቭ ኮምፕሊመንት ኦፍ ነንሱ ዘሬላቲቭ ኮምፕሊመንት ኦፍ ዋት አር ዩ ጎይንግ ቱ ኮምፕሊመንት ሁስ ኤሌመንትስ ጎይንግ ቱ ቢ ሪጀክት ቢስ ኤሌመንት ራይት ሶ ዌ አር ራይቲንግ ኤሌመንትስ ኦፍ ኤ ዛት አር ኖት ፋውንድ ኢን ቢ በት ኢን ዚስ ኬስ ዌ አር ጎይንግ ቱ ራይት ኤሌመንትስ ኦፍ ቢ ዛት አር ኖት ፋውንድ ኢን ኤ ሶ ዘሬላቲቭ ኮምፕሊመንት ኦፍ ንሱ of a or b a a with respect to b yes the relative complement of a the relative complement of a with respect to b so በዚህ ጊዜ የሚጻፉት የሪያ ባር ሆኖ ግን a ውስጥ ያልተገኙት በዚህኛው ጊዜ ግን የሚጻፉት ወይንም የዚህ ሴት አባል ሊሆኑ የኤ አባል ከሆኑት በካከል ቢ ያለ ያዛቸው ወይንም ቢ ውስጥ የማይገኝ ሶ ሌት ሚ ቴክ ዩ ቱ ዘ ኤግዛምፕልስ ዘ ኤግዛምፕልስ ዛት ዊል ቢ ዘ ኢንድ ኦፍ ዚስ ሴክሽን ኢፍ ኤ ኢዝ ኤ ሴት ዛት ኮንሲስትስ 1 3 ኤንድ 5 ቢ ኢዝ ኤ ሴት ዛት ኮንሲስትስ 1 ኤንድ 2 one and two then a without b means a without b means among the elements of set a that are not found in b one is found in a and found in b so it can it cannot be taken only three and five are elements of set a that are not found in b in b therefore a without b or the relative complement of b with respect to a uh, is a set consisting Uh, or consists of 3 and 5 or containing 3 and 5 what about b without a among the elements of set b which are not found in a only number 2 number 2 is the element which is found in b but not found in a so this is a set a set uh, which is a complement of a with respect to b with respect to b so uh, you can see the no the above example shows that in general a without b and uh, b without a are disjoint are disjoint so a and are disjoint a without b and b without a are not compatibly used not compatibly used so then in the matter now so uh, the next one is absolute complement the previous one is uh, relative complement okay relative complement the absolute complement uh, a apostrophe a apostrophe let a be a subset of the universe subset u so we should have to have universe subset u so a must be a subset of that universe subset u so the absolute complement or simply complement of a denoted by usual a apostrophe or a apostrophe c or a bar is defined to be the set of all elements of u that are not in a that are not in a so we can also define logically as you can see there a complement is equal to the set it is a set as we discussed before it is a set of x such that x is an element of is a universal set and x is not found in a x is not found in a we can also define uh, a complement as among 
among the universal set elements which are not found in A, which are not found in A, which are not found in A. Katachim letters for natural katach, my katalachu, a complement means the symmetric difference between U and A, between U and A, where U is a universal set. Or a complement can also be readers, readers, the relative complement of A with respect to the universal set. Okay, let's get them A without B, mallet, the relative complement of B with respect to A, Dalimulu, I want the more U symmetric, I mean, uh, uh, U uh, difference with A, mallet, but it's not going to be mallet. The relative complement of A with respect to U, the relative complement of A with respect to U. That means among the elements of U that are not found in A. Look at the A without B. Uh, among the elements of set A that are not found in B, that is Hulu, a complement of the Among the elements of uh, set U or the universal set that are not found in A. Mark. So X is an element of A complement means X is not an element of A. Mark, no, among the elements of the universal set. So this is uh, the other one. So the example is clearly given there. Let U is uh, S8 consists of 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And if A is uh, S8 containing 3 and 4, then A complement means when 3 and 4 are rejected from the universal set, 0, 1, and 2 are already left. So that will be what a complement means. A complement means a set consists of consists of the elements of the universal set where uh, the elements of set A are already rejected. So 0, 1, and 2 are uh, elements of a complement. Uh, the second example is given there. This is the first. Uh, the next one is U is uh, a set that consists of elements from 1 up to 12. 1 up to 12. And set A is uh, described in set builder method as the set of all x such that x is a positive factor of 12. Positive factor of 12, man, man, man. A set containing 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12, man. So let's see. 1, uh, one up to 12, you know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12, man, and demo, A. And B is, X is an odd integer in U. Odd integer in U, man, and demo, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11, man. So, Kaziga, but I as angry, you make a little bit of a A and B complement, uh, A complement, U and B complement, A complement, intersection B complement, a without B, B without A, you must ask something. Here is the universal set. The universal set is given by you. Uh, my Taya to corner in the Zit Nishkana Larkilatu. You okay. U consists of elements 1 up to 12. 1 up to 12. In, it is already described in partial distinct method. Okay? So set A consists of uh, the set of codex such that positive factors of 12 means positive factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So uh, number 12 is divided by or divisible by each of these numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 are positive factors of 12. Set B. Set B consists of all integers uh, which are less than 12. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. So having this, 
in your mind so determine then determine determine number one a complement number two b complement three a without b number four b without a number five the complement of a union b the complement of a union b number six a a complement union b complement okay number seven number seven a complement intersection b complement okay so the universal set is from one up to twelve and uh, a is already given here b is here so let us do one by one that will be the end of the session solution solution number one uh, a complement a complement is a set Universal set from 1 up to 12, you know, A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12, you know. So what are the elements of a complement? So a complement is a set, consists of, go ahead. Nazir Matao Kormhad, Angula, Sostara, Sedisin, Nasraulet, Ka Universal Set of Sikaru, Eka Ruftin Mesaf Kormhad, but I'm Kalan. 5, 5 is not factor of 12. So 5, 7, from the universal set uh, where elements of A are missed or rejected, five will be here, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay? Eleven. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. So what are B elements of B complement? Uh, one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. So what are B elements of B complement? Two, four, uh, Six, eight, eight, ten, eleven. Yes, ten and twelve. Twelve. You are right. So, number three, relative complement of B with respect to A. When among the elements of A that are not found in B, among the elements of set A that are not found in B, six. Six is found in A, that's not found in B, and twelve. Then there are six different A and not will be used to my game A difference with B when the relative complement of B with respect to A mention of man. Get to shall. Any network, but I'm asking you one of the one. Is she on the move? Miss Gara. Alish. Allah. Let's keep B without any girl in the game. She didn't see some other. B without A. Five. Five, you are right. Five. Seven. Seven. Nine. Nine and? Eleven. Eleven, you are right. These elements are found in B, but not in A. Okay, then A union B. A union B, I have in this round, but I'm going to ask you a union B, where A and where B are going to get in this round. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 11, 12. 9, 11, and 12. 9, 11, and 12. A union. Now, A union B complement demo manual. A union B demo, how is it going to change? So, let's see. 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 Let's
When you reject these numbers, what numbers already left from the universal set so that it will be the answer for alien B component? That's my question. Let's keep the machine. Uh, cement. Cement? Enough? Yeah, it's good. Cement? Enough? Asser, asser. Cement? Enough? Asser? Alien B is alien. So this is alien B complement. Okay, the next one is hit the sapphire. No, a complement is the B complement is the You have to collect the money for union. So the union of a complement and B complement. A complement union B complement. And as in Abraham Misracho, Mitaya Chukaona, Zagan Katacho Misafo. Okay, so a set consists of two, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. It doesn't matter, eight is found in both, so it can be taken. So eight, nine, uh, ten, uh, eleven, and twelve. Eleven and twelve. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So this is a complement union B complement. Savatanya, the intersection of these two. The intersection of a complement and B complement. Nisu. Eight. Okay. Eight and ten. You are right. I want this all anti-gar in your eight and ten yar no dim yet you can do it. Yes, and then you mess up. Yam Mr. Yar Selezi Yamalet complement to see Sarat Union in a barrel mural man intersection. Union man, a complement see Sarat a complement Union in a barrel intersection. You are be complement. Selezi Lezano, you look to Mr. Massa. You know, Margaret. Selezi. Leunet Mefter, Alamachin, Alama Kefto Dadari Mona Lebachu, the National Airways at Kubania, National Aviation College. Tratna Derejon Yeta Beka Sultana Bemestet, Bukuzega Yafarano, Buffalight Operation, Bever Ramas Tangudo, Betiketing Na Reservation, Botil Na Tourism Welch Asseltan and Toda Rina Gutalan, College Achin, Canada Kamidenyo, International Air Transport Association, Ayatana, Kangalizu, ICM Gar Bemetabar, Alama Kafukna Lo Sultana Yesate Genyan. Flight operation. Bever Ramas Tangudo, Yemen Satacho Sultana, Ethiopia Civil Aviation Vara Sultan, Muluk Nan, Adrasha, Kurgola Gul Tower, Hyoleta Dababai, Wadashulab Mus Domangarai, Ye National Airways at Kubania, National Aviation College, Hilmon.